back to the Toppy Blues, your source for all things Everton. My name's Connor Williams, and this is another player review, um, end of season player review. This time it's on none other than Andre Gomez for the last time um, as well. This will be the last time we cover Andre Gomez in an Everton top. Uh, yeah, the club had announced that, you know, he's he's not going to have his contract renewed um, at the end of the season. So let's get into what was his last season in an Everton top. Um, in the Premier League, he played uh, well for Everton overall. He played fourteen games um, and got two goals. He played twelve of them in the Premier League, getting one goal and two in the FA Cup, getting a goal as well. Um, which is interesting to see. In the Premier League. He got one goal of an XG of 0. Um, 0.30. It was against Tottenham Hotspur in a 2-1 defeat uh, from a corner. Um, very, very nice. His other goal, which came in the FA Cup, was, of course, his goal against Crystal Palace, which was a free kick. That was a nice goal. Um, um, yeah, I'm not going to knock that. That was a nice goal from an XG of 0. 0.10. Uh well that was zero point zero seven, but he had an XG of zero point ten in the um FA Cup and had one goal, so really overperformed in his XG there from the what like two shots he took. Um yeah, so how many shots he took this year was eight shots, which averages averages at about one point four three per ninety for the amount of games he played, uh, which like I said was fourteen. Uh no assists. Expected assists were 0 0.55, so you could argue you should have had half an assist. 216 successful passes, which averages out per 90 at about 38.65 per 90. Don't forget, this is 14 games, so it looks very, very nice uh, in comparison to that. 83% pass accuracy, 18 accurate long balls, Um Four chances created, three successful crosses, was dribbled past, uh, successful dribbles three, um, was dispossessed six times, only won four tackles in the whole 14 games, 16 duels, one aerial duel, three interceptions and two blocks, 34 recoveries, uh, and was dribbled past 10 times. That's in 14 games from centre midfield predominantly. Um, which shows why the club won't be keeping him on. I'll get on to that when I speak about him a little bit more. Um, yeah, big chances missed, zero. Big chances created, zero. Key passes, 0 0.3 per 90. Um, errors leading to a shot are one. Errors leading to a goal, none, which is good to see. But ultimately, defensively, he is... A bit lacklustre, um, and we have been playing him centre mid slash defensive centre mid, which is interesting. Non, non, the you know, non the least. But we don't have a lot of depth in the squad, and I think if we'd got more depth, we'd have never see he'd have never seen the light of day on the grass. But we needed him to fulfil, you know, a place in the team. Um, when you look at him. As a player, Andre Gomez, I'm trying to do it just off this season. Obviously, it's his last Everton game. I'm trying not to let that, you know, prelude my mind. Um, although I will say every year we do sell or just sell or keep. And he, he puts in one or two good performances before the end of the season that gets fans clamouring. And he's actually, in my opinion, not been very good for a very long time. Uh, and I don't know how, not all fans, but he does pull a wall over a few fans. Um, I don't know how, it, uh, you know, to be that good of a grifter is amazing. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's, yeah. what can we say about him? Um, this, you know, dribbling wise, he's a very good player. Concentration wise, eh. uh, he does like to dribble and he does pick up fouls. Um, he can... Pick a night every now and then he has one nice pass in him. Um but unfortunately I think that's where the positives for me end. I think the main reason we don't see him is this. He's got a real lack of defensive discipline, he's got a real lack of tackling ability, 
does tend to sort of become a passenger almost in the midfield. Luckily, we we pair we usually pair him up with more defensive minded midfielders, which I think helps uh, and means we're not sort of looking at it, you know, in a you know watching him get hung out to dry. Um, he does like progressive passes. I will give him that. He does like to try progressive passes, which is good to see. Um, per ninety, he tries to at least do five point four. 5.14 progressive passes um, uh, received, sorry. And these actual progressive passes is zero, uh, 6.38. So I, I'm not going to knock him in terms of his passing ability and want to get the ball forward. Unfortunately, he's one of those players that while he got the ball forward, um, he's not going to contribute to getting it, you know, getting back and getting back into possession if he loses it, um, which is the main problem in a Sean Dyche team. You know, I spoke about uh, Dan Juma on the channel when we did Dan Juma, and I said the same thing. He's not really a Deitch player, and I, you know, I think that's ultimately why he's not going to stay is his defensive lack of defensive ability. I think it's fair to say you could say that about Andre Gomez as well. I think he lacks defensive ability, um, and ultimately is why he'll go. But. He has chipped in with two goals this season. So, you know, for that, we thank him. Uh, for his overall rating of the season, I am going to give Andre Gomez for this season. Hmm. Going to give him a six point five. I'm going to give him a six point five. He's just been run of the mill, bang average in the 14 appearances. Um, I don't think we'll miss him. And I don't think there's enough about him to garner us wanting to keep him. Well, so thank you for his obviously thank you for his service. He's been at the club for a long time. Fan, you know, fans, myself included, at one point were, you know, completely fell in love with him when he came from loan from Barcelona. Um, and then he's since stayed at the club one like one, two, three, four, five years now. Um, so thank you for his service over the years. But I also believe he is one of those players that when people think back of the tough times of Everton and the players that have been a problem and overseen a lot of managers, he does fall into that category of overseeing a lot of managers. Um, so 6.5 for Andre Gomez. Wish him all the best in whatever he does next. Another club will pick him up, uh, I have no doubt. So yeah, all the best. Thank you for your service. Don't forget guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section and give me your rating for Andrew Gomez for the season. And uh, see you soon.